Hi, Earth Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for June 4th until the 10th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information as well as the link to my new book, Accepting the Gift, is down below in the description box below. So let's get started here. We're going to start off first for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit, for June 4th until the 10th? Yeah. I'm feeling that someone's going to have a really tough week. Isn't that what you want to know? You know, well, I'm sorry, Taurus. Uh, you know, you're just kind of fed up. You don't know what to think anymore. You're battling here. I feel like you're going to give yourself a break. You're going to move away emotionally, mentally. <clears throat> the frustration is way overwhelming. Uh, again, battling with your thoughts here, I feel for sure, you know. You're frustrated that, you know, it's kind of like, huh, what was it? Um, I was just talking to my son, the 13-year-old, and I was just telling him, I was like, yeah, just wait till you get to, to 12th grade. I was like, when I was in 12th grade, my English teacher said we had to write an essay of where we would be in five years. And right now, you don't exist. I'm supposed to be on Broadway in New York. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I just remembered that story. Uh, but anyway, Taurus, you must think I'm crazy, man. Uh, but definitely just frustrated because you're not you're not where you're supposed to be, you know, kind of thing. You're frustrated because there was supposed to be this change by now, you know, and you don't understand um, the process. I just heard the process of everything. There is going to be work being put into this for sure. They're going to be coming back. I want to add more, one more here. Uh, yeah, and, and I just feel like you kind of need a break emotionally, okay? I don't think any of us for, with that list made our... Uh, if you did, comment down below, good for you, because I'm, I'm still not on Broadway. But yeah, definitely, I feel that, you know, you're going to have a clear state of mind. And I also feel that this person from the past will return here. But there's still a lot of work here, Taurus, that you need to, you know, and releasing that frustration and the battle of it all, you know? Uh, there will be change here, but I feel like you just kind of need to put that work into yourself. They'll come back when they're ready, you know, uh, and you get to choose whether or not you want them back or not by that time. There's going to be some that are still going to, you know, not going to take them back. You're going to stay quiet. You're not going to answer the phone here. But I do feel that there is going to be some kind of communication contact here from your long lost love. I just heard that's sweet. So. But anyway, moving on, sorry for that story time, to Virgo. Let's see, let's see. Whoa, hang on, jumpy. Okay, little side dish here of uh, info in regards to money. This is meant for somebody or else I wouldn't be picking it up here. Uh, and I, I feel that there's definitely upcoming decisions. You're going to make the right choice. I feel like somebody out there wants to make a somewhat decent price or d decent purchase here uh, and spending some kind of money. I, I feel that, you know, it's it's like you have to kind of calm your energy down, rethink things, really feel if you, you know, checking accounts, you know, do I really need this, you know, you're going to reevaluate whether or not you need that special purchase or not. I feel for majority of you, you're going to kind of keep the money in the pocket with that four of pentacles present. Okay, I'm going to take extra, but that was definitely a message. Uh, with somebody who was kind of deliberating in your mind what you should do about that with purchasing something. You could be going on a trip as well or some, some kind of big purchase. Somebody's very up in their head, confused here, Virgo. You know, been through a lot. Spirit sees it all. I feel somebody, somebody literally... Uh, speaks out loud and says, do you not see what's going on here? Like you're talking to universe, you're talking to spirit guide, you know, you're telling them off, sister. I get you. Again, same energy as Taurus here. This is not what I planned. This is not what I manifested. It's this tough, tough time. I'm very confused. This relationship is very 
very well protected. You got the judgment as well as the temperance. Both of them are very spiritual cards. But you're just so confused and not knowing what to do. There is fulfillment coming and a fresh new start. Your manifestation, they've been hurt hearing your manifestation skills, okay? Because you got the judgment right above that. So they are hearing you, okay? And you are very well protected with this relationship here. But I feel that there's definitely upcoming decisions, but it's still going to take some time. It's just basically saying, even though this has taken some time and it's been very confusing and you've needed a lot of patience here through this tough time known as that Wheel of Fortune, the cycle here, and the Seven of Cups, which is confusion, things are going to get better, son. So that's known as the Yes card, plus it's positive energy, okay, in regards to possibly a twin flame Gemini energy. Regardless, I feel Virgo. This is the deal. It's giving you the confidence, it's reassuring you here with this message that you are on the right path, you are with the right person, you are on the right journey. Even though it's been confusing and tough times and very lost energy, what you've been throwing out there to the universe and manifesting for this relationship to come about, you're kind of second guessing yourself now because it's been such a long time, very confused as to what to, what to do now about it going back and forth because I feel like there's a little bit of lack of confidence with can spirit actually hear me are they following through with this kind of thing yes they are they're going to bring that completion of love and a new start for you in regards to this relationship this is going to work out <clears throat> so basically Virgo you just needed that confirmation because it's going to be kind of a confusing week for you I feel emotionally uh, spiritually as well. Just know that you are very well protected spiritually through this relationship. You got this. Moving on to Capricorn. Oh my. Hang on. Feisty Capricorns. <laughs> Just love you guys. All right. So... After a long time of waiting here, uh, you hold the power. Each major arcana represents a certain sign. You guys, of course, are the devil here. Uh, but definitely the hand of that is like saying, no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm taking action here. You know, it's been long enough. I'm beating myself up in my mind here. I'm releasing the past here. I'm tired of the sleepless nights. I'm tired of waking up at 3 a.m. I'm tired of being in that nightmare stage and I'm done. Okay, you... I literally heard fair is fair. You want to ignore me? I'm going to ignore you. You got two tens. So you're telling your, it could be a twin, soulmate, what have you. Uh, even telepathically, you could be saying this. I'm just done. I'm done, you know? Yeah, you're done of the battle here for sure, you know? Yeah, it's time to heal your energy, okay? Uh, and I do feel, though, that, you know, you could actually uh, talk to a friend. You don't have to see a therapist, but... Just talk to a friend, you know, to, to help you move along, you know, along that, giving that confidence that it's okay if you want to move on, okay? It, you know, I know I say this a lot, but you're frustrated and you you want this movement again in this relationship and you're not getting what you want, okay? And I get that and that's where I was leading to. My daughter, Grace, she's a Capricorn. She's a feisty little bugger. <laughs> But man, when she knows what she wants, she knows what she wants. And believe me, you'll be talking to a wall because you she won't she won't listen to nothing I say. <laughs> she does what she wants. And that's why I love you guys, because I'm used to grace. <laughs> so, anyway, you do you, Capricorn. Don't you worry about a thing. You know, you don't have to put up with the devil energy, okay? You're tired of waiting here. You're showing the initiative. You're moving away from this. You're releasing the past. You're tired. You're just flat out tired. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of the stress. You're tired of the battle here. And you're going to heal. I do feel that you definitely need somebody to talk to to help you through this, okay? Uh, but I do feel that the frustration will be released through all this. And you'll be able to move past this for sure. So that is what I have for not just Capricorn, uh, but for all the earth signs out there for this week, June 4th until the 10th, 2023. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.